this is Keith's story about his alarm this morning. Skunk alarm this morning. I kept hearing some tinkering around going on around me. Shine my light over into this region where the trash was being kept. And there was a North American skunk slipping out of this corner here. <laughs> <laughs> Brave little skunk. A cooling Pretty counter. Neat. A cooling counter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, neat wildlife yeah. encounter. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought it was pretty neat. <laughs> when I saw the butt of that skunk facing me, I said, that's pretty cool. He's <laughs> <laughs> still trying to make up for his two hours of sleep from night one. I know. Yeah. Hayden's just pushing grade today. Bars of that kind of peeler. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't sound like farm turkeys to me. But I just heard like multiple different turkeys in different directions while it was like, wow, wow, I gotta pee. You're gonna be late. It's fine. If you like to hang out with your friends in the morning and talk about skunks, you're gonna be late. It's fine. You can kill a bird any time of the day. So here's the deal, everybody. We're in a spot where Hayden and Roy made a move on some turkeys yesterday. We heard them from a different spot, but there was private between us and where we heard the turkeys. But Hayden and Roy were over on this road. They heard these turkeys and went in and then claimed that they were farm turkeys and like, there's kind of a camp debate on whether or not these are farm turkeys or not. We're gonna go try our luck at it. Like, it was kind of funny because we were talking about it last night and I said, where'd you guys see scratching? And Hayden's like, yeah, actually that first place we were, there was a bunch of scratching. <laughs> Keith goes, there was one. Mm -hmm. Keith is like, so, are you sure those were farm turkeys? <laughs> Camp debate, camp joke, making fun of Caterpillar. You know, we're being harsh to Hayden for no reason. <laughs> it's like he's doing he's better than us in a couple of years. Oh yeah. He's oh he definitely on him. Okay. Never saw that turkey. 
Andy again. Never heard a thing. But we know they're in here. We don't know if they're trying, if they're like making a move up and out of here and going to a different hollow or what. We also thought we heard the turkeys last when they gobbled that direction. So that could have just been a lone hen splitting off. We're going to pick our way up and out of here in some direction and get back to the truck and go work on some videos for a little bit. But we'll be back in here probably this evening. Seemed like there was at least two different birds gobbling in here. And I guess up to this point, we still cannot confirm that there's a wild male tom turkey in here. But things are looking pretty good because we did see a wild turkey. We didn't bump anything. We actually never released a call today. And our thought process there was we just never wanted to call a bird in silent and get busted. We'd rather, you know, know exactly where they are, call to them, and then even if they come in silent, can anticipate where they're coming from. Well, we didn't really ever know exactly where they were the odds of them coming in at a weird angle were going up, so we just stayed quiet. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but it seemed like it was the right idea in Keith and I's eyes. So last night it rained into first thing this morning. Now it's super nice out and it's clear, but looks like Keith might've had to deal with some critters last night. Cause I can see a barrier that he created down there. Bit of a critter blockade or? <laughs> How early did that start? 3.31 a.m. <laughs> Dude, he was like, he was literally here. He was just like, well, he, that's definitely what that is. And then I would just hear like this. And like, like right beside me and I would shine my light through here. And he would just be like, did you get the whiff of him? <laughs> and then he started walking back at me and I'd have to stop my foot. And then he'd be like, okay. I even had the little blockade up and he found a little gap through it and he stopped the gap. <laughs> And he got in the blockade with me, and I was, got out. <coughs> thought I was going to have a little s skunk rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> so, Curl and I are making our way into a spot we haven't been yet. Our original plan was to go somewhere near where we were at this morning, but uh, made a little detour on the way and realized that this road that we thought you could drive down is actually closed, so made this area a little more interesting. So we're just gonna pick our way through this, look for sign, and potentially spend the rest of the night in here. Yeah, it's been. Yeah. They're they're tough. It's definitely. I don't have any luck in the evenings. Yeah, yeah, That's we've been why had I'm any. wearing my bright orange hat and just kind of walking around because like, uh -huh. well, I don't want to toad in stuff in the morning. Yeah, yeah, we haven't heard one in the evenings yet, but. Yeah. 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 All right. See ya.
us, no confusing story. Hog bull. If you were hunting big mag magnum hogs, dude, you'd be on them. All right, what happened? And about seven o'clock, here's something coming from behind us. It's another guy with a blaze orange hat walking out to stash his decoy for the night for the weekend or something. But you didn't see any. We didn't see any, any, but like sign. But there's definitely turkeys in that general area, and there's tons of ground, and it kind of goes towards that that main creek, and then the other side is where we planned on hunting. So you can pretty much go in Go from either, either side and hunt that whole area. We'll give it a shot tomorrow. We'll be doing something. It's going to be windy again, but we'll be hunting. Had a, I mean, had a day that you can't complain about. Got to go outside, so mm -hmm. not complaining. But someday the wind will stop blowing and we'll probably hear more turkeys then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, eat. Let's eat. You didn't hear Zach's little yell last night? Oh, I heard him screaming. Yep. <laughs> right after I laid down, and Zach came over to say something to me. and I turned to walk, and in between those totes, that son of a gun had his whole body <laughs> in between those two things and comes backing up out of there. <laughs> and he's like, you know, a foot from me. Yeah. And I'm just like, ah, you know, said some things, you know. <sighs> What do you do? I think we can hear everything from the road here, so I don't think we should dive in. I was looking at the map. I think we should just listen from the road. Hit a call right here. I think it should get out there to the creek. So, we're rolling real deep today because we've got Greg, Roy, Hayden, myself and Keith, and we've also got intern applicant Steven with us. So we got a lot going on today. Keith and I are likely gonna run drop back. Hayden found this spot yesterday. They feel pretty confident that there's turkeys in here, so we're just gonna listen here, start, keep working our way back in there. We're realizing more and more every day that we need to keep moving to here more because there's just so many little folds in the terrain. We can get a turkey goblin on the backside, it's pretty hard to hear them, even if they're a couple hundred yards away. So we're just gonna have to keep moving and eventually we'll find something that's gobbling and be able to actually make a calculated move on them. But until then, we're just still chipping away at trying to find one that's doing that. Hear that one? No, we just listened for a little bit. And we've heard Bird gobble in a similar location probably four times now. It's really faint, he's way off there. We're just coming up with a plan of just trying to decide what way to take to get a better ear on him. Zach and Keith are heading up the hill right now. We'll convene with them and hopefully get a little closer to this turkey. Where do you, where would you pin him? Like that far, either there or maybe there. Okay. Right at the tip of one of those two ridges, I would say. Out here. Yeah, I think we just moved down to that next point. And get that. Go down this way. Yeah, I want, that's what I want to do. So the fact that you do makes me feel like, you know, it's not the same feeling I had earlier when you were like trying to get around my truck when we were going to the same place. relatively quick because we're not going to sneak up on him with six dudes. Yeah. It's like hit locators off the top. Once we get to a spot that we really like, like if we see sign, maybe call, but like just try to get him to gobble and just keep moving down this and then just hop from one to the next and just yeah. kind of work our way out. So go like boom. I don't know what the right answer is. All I know is we got you covered, boys. That's it. I said all I know is we got you covered. Look around you. We've How's got this maybe, angle look compared to this uh, angle? Maybe seven or eight angles here. <laughs> my, my dual, my dual GoPro. Yeah, everybody's got a phone. We got 16 cameras. 13. <laughs> Like, 
was sitting there just looking at the map and it was like for sure a goblin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hunting. <laughs> hunting. Actually, never mind anyway. <laughs> It might be. It's hard to say. It's hard to say if it was. Yeah. I think we just got, at this point, we got to play it like he's not dead, but we did just hear gunshots. Two days are gonna be way better than today. <laughs> Cause it's supposed to be calm. We're kind of wrapping it up. It's what what I'm kind of getting at. Mm -hmm. Group vibe is it's time for breakfast. <laughs> but wind's picking up even more, I'd say now. And I think our confidence is kind of shot after bumping bumping at least a turkey. So go back get some food get that confidence built back up and hunt some more we gotta probably just keep covering more ground try to get more tabs on more turkeys and then as the weather gets better we'll be able to strike from there he's <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's running away from you and then he like looks back right at you no, he's and then he walking. goes around the hill no he's, he's just, just walking up the hill moving. yeah that was the lone survivor. <laughs> the lone survivor snail of the bunch. Snails, bears. Snails and bears, it's, it's all we ran into. We found hog sign. We're watching footage back from tonight, and the moral of the story is, is nothing happened. We're watching multiple snail shots here. <laughs> <laughs> These guys did see a bear, though, and fresh bear sign. We're going to continue to go through the 
shots of no turkeys here, but just gotta make a game plan and get after them in the morning. The weather's gonna start to turn better in our favor. Also seems like the thing that I feel has changed for me in the last like 24 to 48 hours is really focusing more lower. Seems like the turkeys are definitely down low, especially when there's wind. But it also seems like all the animals are there. Hogs, deer, bear, turkey. That's where things are greening up, where they're getting out of the wind, and that's where we're finding them. So we'll probably keep focusing on that until something tells us otherwise. See you in the morning. Cut it, Greg!